Hey y'all, today on the Bold and the Beautiful, uh, Wyatt reads a post about his divorce on the internet, and he's not very happy to hear that, or to read about that on the internet, um, because Steffi is so popular and uh, such a public figure is why it was posted, I'm sure. Uh, he told Steffi that he cannot be so close to her that it's, um, hurts him, and, um, it's just, uh, something that he's gonna have to change, and so he can't be close to Steffi, and he's submitting his resignation, and Steffi didn't try to talk him out of it. It seems a little, um, well, I know she's thinking of Liam's feelings and all, but all that, why it has done for her to make her popular and to build up the company and all. I felt like it was a little, um, not cold hearted, but anyway, I felt maybe she should have, uh, tried a little bit to talking to, into staying, you know, but as far as I saw, she didn't at all. Uh, then it goes to Bill, who was fussing at CJ, who you know is the uncle of Sally Girl, uh, because he was set to sell Spectra, the Spectra building to Bill, and then he backed out for six months, giving Spectra Fashions a chance to make it. Uh, so then it goes to the um, Sally Girl and her grandma, and um, Sal, or Saul, and Saul says that uh, he cannot sew a whole uh, design line with only one sewing machine that works. And uh, Sally Girl reminds him they have six months. Bill, uh, after he realized that um, the Spectra building, the Spectra Fashions building was the one he was wanting to buy, he watches the video of the reopening of Spectra that we watched yesterday and just kind of has a laugh about it. Uh, and the grandmother to Sally Girl says that the models only have to make one trip down the, um, down the catwalk in their outfit so he doesn't have to make it you know, great, the designs, he just has to make them last for one trip down the catwalk. And uh, Sally Girl says they're going to be the toast of the fashion world. So, Steffi thanks Wyatt for being a great team. Uh, Wyatt says all their time together was special. Uh, it's just time for him to move on. Steffi told Thomas that Wyatt is resigning. Um, and that he's going back to Spencer, and Steffi hates the tension, uh, that they have between them, between Thomas and Steffi. Um, Wyatt goes to see Bill, and he lets him know that he has resigned from Forrester, and Bill, in, uh, when he first gets there, is real shocked to see him, and cracks some jokes about never seeing him and all that, and Wyatt says he's going to see a lot more of him. Then he tells him that he resigned from Forrester. Sally girl wants to go viral like Steffi with thousands of followers, and so she gets a bright idea, which I thought was kind of cute, but it was really major overacting when they did it. But, um, Sally called the office, uh, Steffi's office, and found out where Steffi was by tricking Pam. And so, uh, um, Sally girl, her grandma, and Saul went to that restaurant, and they were talking about how expensive the food was and all that, and the grandma said, or Sally said, that they wouldn't eat anything, they would just sit there. Uh, and Thomas told Steffi, Thomas was with Steffi at the restaurant, that he just wants to feel equal. And Steffi asked him what he wants. And then in walked Sally, Saul, and the grandma. And 
uh, Sally says that the uh, high society expensive restaurant and all the best tables and all that uh, Steffi and Thomas are experiencing is their future. And uh, then White says he will support Steffi and Liam, but, um, you know, it's just real hard on him. And Bill says, uh, <clears throat> don't be so hard on yourself. And uh, he made Steffi a star and, you know, did all the promotions and uh, all that to make Steffi who she is today. And then... Uh, um, Sally walks over and speaks to Thomas because, you know, they have met before. And then she uh, talks to Steffi, but she told um, the grandma to get her phone out and record what was going to take place. So uh, the grandma's recording this. And um, Sally says that she was named after her aunt, and Steffi was named after her grandma, and here they sit, so it's Sally and uh, Stephanie together again. And uh, Sally talks about Spectra to Seth, Steffi, and um, they kind of throw some uh, subtle insults uh, to each other and at one point Steffi says that they're busy and and all uh, but um, uh, Sally girl drops a dessert on Steffi and then Steffi gets mad about it and then Sally uh, says I'll get over it it didn't hurt you and um, she says you just think you're too good and it's all for the cameras and for it to go viral and to get her publicity and uh while white is talking to to bill he is being humble about steffi's fame and helping her be where she is today then uh sally girl spilt a bottled water on steffi and so then Steffi gets real upset and more fussing and Steffi jumps up and they're, you know, insulting each other and, and Sally Girl's getting a lot of footage for, um, for her uh, viral video that she's going to put up to get um, uh, publicity. And... So, uh, Steffi said something about, first you drop cake on me, and then, so Steffi grabbed a cake and shoved it on Sally Girl, and then they started back and forth throwing cake on each other, and finally they got Sally Girl out of there, and so there stands uh, Steffi with cake all in her hair and all over her and everything. And Thomas reached over and picked up some cake and put it in his mouth and he's just giggling and having the best time and eating cake. And uh, Steffi, you know, wants to know what he's laughing about. And he goes, oh, nothing. You know, it was real cute. I like that. And uh, just the insults were flying before um, they got Sally out. So that's how today's show ended, and uh, I just, my only complaint, and it's not really a complaint, because I know that Sally Girl is supposed to be an over-the-top personality, but she really does overact, and then it, and I know the show's fake, but it just makes it feel more fake with her overacting, but I'm sure that she'll find her place and she'll get into her groove and and she'll not be so um out there even though her character is supposed to be out there i just feel like she overacts so that's it and today we're going to talk about white spencer his real name is darren brooks he was born may 27th 1984 and he's 32 years old he's five foot ten inches 
and he's married to Kelly Kruger, who plays a recurring role on The Bold and the Beautiful. He was born and raised in Hawaii. He is of Polish descent. Before he acted, he modeled, uh, and he has worked as an extra in a lot of films. His first role was Max Brady on Days of Our Lives, then starred as Alex Moran on, the Sp on Spike's TV series, Blue Mountain State. In 2010, he starred as Mr. Blake Owens on the web series, Miss Behave. In 2013, he began playing White Spencer on The Bold and the Beautiful. In 2009, he won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series. Uh, days of Our Lives. He was also nominated in 2008. So that's what I found out about Wyatt. And I used to not like Wyatt that much because I felt like he kept taking Liam's um, women. And that kind of irritated me, but uh, I like Wyatt a lot now. I think he's a great guy. And I think he shows a lot of character. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.